Hi everyone, it's Nathaniel again. Today I'm going to be talking about three quick and thoughtful science fiction novels that I recommend. Uh, the first of them is Solaris by Stanislaw Lim. This is the story about Chris Kelvin, how upon arriving to the station, he finds that the crew is a bit disheveled and strange things are happening there and he's trying to get to the bottom of it. He s begins to be visited by a previous lover that he had uh, put aside many years before. Now, the idea of the story, for the most part, the study of this ocean that serves as sort of a neural network for the place, and it develops all of these different um, structures and images. Well, it has evolved to a point where it's actually showing things from the different crew members' memories. And at the root of this story, it's really about the idea of regret and how that regret and that loss, that sense of connection to other beings will come back to haunt you in future life. Out of the three books, um, Solaris is definitely the, the most somber of all of them, but it's also, it's very enjoyable to read in the sense that it really makes you start wondering what is happening and you see how these entities that are being revisited upon the crew members, they are, they're not kind and they're not, they're not particularly helpful because it really goes along with how much regret the, the individual is feeling from these past interactions. I had not seen the movie, and, but I had always been interested in reading something by Stanislaw Lim, and Solaris was a great introduction to his writing and some of the ideas that he tries to bring to, to the forefront. The next book is Good Morning Midnight. This one also is very much about loss and how putting your career ahead of what your heart really needs um, plays a part. This one subsequently, uh, the movie is also stars George Clooney. So these two are connected uh, by, by George Clooney. Very different stories in the sense that this one is is almost lyrically written and it's probably out of the three is is my favorite this one is about um, Augustine who is an aging astronomer who has stayed at this research station while everyone else has been evacuated and some catastrophe has happened around the world and he has no contact with anyone on the outside Augustine discovers a young girl has been left at the station with him and they end up at one point moving from that station to another area that's going to have better capabilities to try to reach out to other people. Meanwhile there's a vessel that's coming back from uh, Jupiter. The person that you follow primarily is named Sullivan and as they are returning to Earth they lose contact with um, NASA and he ends up being able to get a hold of the crew that's on this this ship that is coming back to Earth and reconnects with them. I'm not gonna give any spoilers of, of, about where it is, but like Solaris, it also deals with that idea of loss, the value that we place in some of our pursuits in life. And Augustine, as an old um, astronomer, of course, is looking back on his life, but then Sullivan, who is much younger, she is also considering the different things that she has given up in order to go on this long voyage uh, to Jupiter. And as they get closer to the planet, they have to make the choice of, you know, whether or not to, to land and try to find, you know, remnants of the human race and their families and things like that, or stay at the space station to continue some of the research until they can get a better idea of what's going on down on the planet. The last book that I have is To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. Becky Chambers is known for her uplifting writing. The, the things that I've read from her previously it has been very rewarding. It's, it's very positive. The interactions between the different people, whether it's races, you know, because of the science fiction aspect, or if it's just some of the cultural things that are going on, are generally very um, appreciative, very uh, open to, to one another. And she just has a positive feel 
to all of her her stories. Now this one, again, something has happened on Earth. They are away on a um, voyage to to do some ecological surveys on planets that are in the system that's about 12 light years away. As they're hopping from planet to planet, uh, you know, one planet is very enjoyable, uh, very positive in their their research and is fun for them. Another planet basically keeps them isolated to where they can't get outside of their ship for a while and they all become depressed. It's just like one long dreary day. And then they move on to another one which has, you know, different aspects. And what's really good about that story is that it shows how their environments start playing on their own personal resolves and how they want to pursue the mission. And then once they lose contact with Earth, which of course, because of time delay, is years, they have to make the choice whether or not to move on or try to go back. And it, again, is those questions that we have to ask ourselves. What do we give up in pursuit of other goals? And so all three of these, they make the reader think, you know, how would you respond in a certain situation? But it's also, what do we carry with us uh, as we go through life? And some of that is what we choose. And some of it is the burden that is placed on us because of circumstance. But it, all three of them are extremely well written. Um, like I said, the Solaris is the most somber of all each of them uh, and to be taught is the the most light-hearted this one and Solaris both have a little bit of that first contact aspect to them uh, which is neat the, the idea of adventure whereas Good Morning Midnight is really more of a narrative about past decisions again I would say that Good Morning Midnight was my favorite uh, it's very different from the movie if you've ever watched that on Netflix and I actually intend to talk about that in a later video but it's just her writing uh, Lily Brooks Dalton's writing for this is phenomenal each of these individually uh, were very enjoyable to read I didn't find any of these to have a particular weakness in them I think that they are all strong the writing for each of them is very different but they were all books that pull you in and really take you along and discovering what is going to happen uh, in each of them. There's a little bit of a reveal for uh, Good Morning Midnight and of course the decisions that have to be made ultimately with both Good Morning Midnight and To Be Taught have long-range implications and then the idea of you know what do you do with an entity that you thought was in an inert but you find is actually has a lot more value and an intention so if you're looking for some quick thoughtful and lingering science fiction each of these uh, I would recommend if you have any other recommendations for quick thoughtful science fiction or any other books please put them in the comments below remember to like and subscribe if you want further reading recommendations and until next time, have a good day.